Hi everybody and welcome to week seven. This week things are going to change a little bit. The pace is a little bit different. Mostly you're going to be working on your trend presentation, but you also are going to start cleaning up the pieces that go towards your final projects. So this week, week seven, your focus is going to be on trends in educational technology. You have a video to watch and then you have your trend project. Your trend project is a group presentation that you will be delivering synchronously to the class on February 20th at 6 p.m. Your trend presentation consists of screencasts of no more than five minutes for each member of your team. It also consists of a graphic organizer that people will use to take notes during all portions of your presentation. And finally, it contains a culminating activity, something short but interactive, that you will have the group do live during your presentation. Your group will need to create a note-taking document to organize your information. By February 15th, I should be invited to that document and be able to follow along with what's going on. Each individual must submit the YouTube URL of your portion by noon on February 20th. That allows me enough time to pull together all of the pieces so that it's organized when the class is meeting live. Your graphic organizer must be emailed me by noon on February 20th. Your group gets to decide what trend you would like to present. I've listed several possibilities, but you're also welcome to email me if you've got a different idea. Chances are, if you consider it an emerging trend, it's going to be just fine. To get a sense of what the final product might look like, take a look at the sample presentation and graphic organizer included in the unit. So this is how the layout looks. Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3 are the screencasts recorded by the three members of this particular team. The graphic organizer, in this case it was about tablets, is included as well. I will put the page together that looks like this, but I need you to email me your URLs and the graphic organizer. When you actually present, you will give a very short two to three sentence introduction to your segment, and then we will break apart and people will watch the YouTube videos on their own. I don't want to try and stream those through Adobe Connect because that just is very slow, doesn't work very well. After each segment, we'll come back together. We'll get another short introduction for the next piece. And then at the end, live, someone will take over the microphone and will um, explain your culminating activity to the group. So that's kind of the format of what this looks like in real life. Now a trend presentation is not a ridiculous amount of work this week, which means you're probably wondering what's the catch. Well, although it's not due this week, you will need to read and respond to your classmates' blogs. I strongly suggest that you get started with that during this week, take a look at what other people have written, and begin responding. When you click on class blogs either in this weekly module or in the sidebar, you get a list of all of the blogs that have been created by every member of this class. You must comment on a blog post by at least three different people. You can comment on any blog post that they have included. In order to access someone's blog, all you need to do is click on the link. In order to comment on someone's blog, first of all, you need to be logged in. Be sure that you are logged into your account before you comment, because otherwise I won't be able to track your participation and you won't get credit. To comment, you go to the end of the post and you click where it says zero comments, or one comment, or two comments, or whatever's there. You're going to type your comment and you'll notice that at underneath it says comment as. 
please be sure that your name is listed there so that you're able to get credit. Hopefully, as you are exploring various people's blogs, you will see some different ways that they have set it up. You'll see some different colors, some different layouts. You might notice up in the top right hand side that they have followers. Everyone has one follower, at least, because I signed up to follow your blog. So again, you must comment on three different people's blog posts. Any post that they have, but on three different blogs. As you are reading blogs and exploring, I encourage you to look at the different layouts. I encourage you to look for media and I encourage you to think about what you need to change on your blog to make sure that it meets all of the requirements. One thing you'll notice in my blog is that I have links out, I have embedded media, I have embedded images, all of that is required as part of your blog posting. So during this next week, while you're working on your trend presentations, I also expect you to go back and work on your blogs to make sure that they receive full credit. So that's our week. Please let me know if you have any questions. If there's anyone in your team who is absolutely not available for the synchronous presentation, let me know that in advance. So have a great week, um, and I will see you next week.